Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create menu in Astro theme. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the menu in the Astro theme, that is really easy. First of all, what we need to do, we have to go inside the appearance. And in the appearance, I have to click on the menus here. So from here, we can simply create the menus. Okay, so let's click on the create a new menu. And this will be the primary menu. So let's write down second menu. Now let's click on the create menu. Okay. So here what I need to do, I have to add the menu items here. Okay. So to add the menu items, as you can see that we have the most recent page and we can also add the custom links as well. Okay. So at the moment, I just want to add the custom links. So let's click on the custom links. Text would be home. After that, we're going to have portfolio. Okay. So let's just write down portfolio here. Click on the add to menu. And now about us. So let's just add the text. And in the last, I would actually like to add contact us here. Okay. All right. So let's click on add to menu. So we have created our second menu here. So let's click on save menu. And now let's just go to the pages and I want to create a new page so that I can create the element for the menu items accordingly. Okay, so let's add the title here. So let's add demo here. Now let's click on edit with Elementor. Alright, so as you can see that we have our menu. So we have the home, we have the portfolio, we have the about and we have the contact. Okay, so now let's just create the section for each of our menu options here. So let's just add the container here. This will be the single column structure. And I just keep all of these sections really simple. So let's add the heading. So this would be the home and align it into the center. And let's just add the image. Okay. So this is our first section. So let's duplicate our first section. Click on the duplicate. Click on the duplicate again. And click on the duplicate again. All right. The second would be portfolio. And after that, we will have the about. And after that, we will have contact us. Okay. So I have added the title for each of the sections. So now what I need to do, I have to add the IDs. Okay. So now we have to add the IDs that we have created for our menu items. So for the home, we have created the home. And for the portfolio, we have created the portfolio. And in the similar way, we have created the IDs for the other menu options here. Okay, so let's click on the home here. Now let's click on the advanced. And here you will be able to see the CSS ID. So here, let's just write down home here. In the similar way, we have to add the ID to the portfolio. So click on the advanced. Write down the portfolio. All right. So let's just write down the about us or only the about. Click on the CSS ID. So this would be the about. And in the last, we would have the contact. Okay. So we have created the sections here according to our menu items and we have aligned their IDs with the IDs of the menu items. Okay. So let's click on the publish. Click on have a look. Alright, so now when I click on the menu items, so for example, if I want to create the about, then we will be navigated to the about section. Okay, so let's click here and you will be able to see we are navigated to the about section. In the similar way, if I just click on the contact, we will be navigated to the contact section. Okay, so now let's click on the customize. Okay. So from here, we can actually change the position of our menu items as well. So for that, let's just click on the header builder. 
and in the header builder as you can see that we have the primary menu so if i just click here you will be able to see that we have the general settings we have the design so in the design you can see that we can customize our menu here so let's click on the general and now let's click on the configure menu from here now you can see that the primary menu is the second menu that we have created so if i want to change the menu from here i can simply change it from here okay so for that what i need to do i'll just simply click on here and you can see this we have the two options we have the menu and we have the second menu that we are currently using and we can also add the secondary menu here okay so if i just click here you will be able to see that i can also add the menu here as a secondary menu okay so let's go back at the moment okay so now you can see here that we have the site title and the logo and we have the primary menu and we have the button so if i want to delete the button i can simply delete it from here so let's click here and it will simply delete the button from here and if you want to change the position of our primary menu we can also do it as well so let's drag this and if i want to put this into the center you can see this we have our primary menu into the center if i want to put this on the left side i can also put this on the left side as well and we can also drag our logo to the right side okay so this is how we can play around with the menu here and we can also add the menu okay so let's just add the logo in the first layer into the center and in the similar way i can add the primary menu into the center you can see here so this is how we can play around with the primary menu here and we can also add the secondary menu okay so let's click here and from here you can see the option of the secondary menu so let's click here again and you will be able to see the option of the secondary menu here okay and we have a lot of the different options in the secondary menu so this is how we can add the secondary menu as well and this is how we can play around with the position of the primary menu okay so now if i just publish this and let's just go back to our website so for that let's just go to the edit demo and from here let's just click on the preview changes you will be able to see that we have our menu into the center okay and if you want to create the drop down option in the menu we can also do this so for that i would actually go inside the wordpress dashboard okay so let's just click on the edit demo here click on here and click on exit okay so from here if you want to create the drop down menu or the drop down option in the menu so for that we have to go inside the appearance and click on the menus again and from here we would have to create any option as a sub item option okay so for example i want to create the portfolio as the sub item of the about okay so let's just drag this if i want to create the portfolio as the sub item of the about i would drag the portfolio to the right side and i would just release the button and now you will be able to see that the portfolio is the sub item of the about okay so let's just click on the same menu and if i go back to our demo page here refresh the page now you will be able to see that our about option has the drop down menu as well okay you can see here we have the portfolio in the drop down menu okay so this is how we can create the menu in the astro theme so if you really find this video helpful hit the like button and subscribe the channel